Yo, what's up guys? I'm back in the studio today. After about two weeks of research while eating meatballs, I figured it was about time to actually cook a meatball for you guys. So what makes the perfect Italian meatball? Yeah, no. There are three main factors that I use to judge a good meatball. Okay, so the fork test. This is what I use to find out if the meatball is good or not. Obviously, the easier it cuts, the more tender it is. Second, a good meatball can't be dry. So I use the fork and give the cut side of the meatball a gentle squeeze. How much juice comes out is a clear sign if the mixture has enough fat. And obviously, fat equals flavor. And finally, the taste. I mean, what the hell are we doing here anyways? Over the past couple weeks, I've ordered and literally eaten my way through pretty much every good meatball in the area. I think I'm gonna turn into one soon. So that's the test I've been using to judge the meatballs, and I guess that's what we're gonna stick with today. So I grew up in New York, and I probably had Italian meatballs more than I've had Greek ones, to be honest with you. And unfortunately, it was pretty rare that the meatball stood above the sauce. So after all the hands-on research, <laughs> and eating my way through mostly every meatball in the area, I figured I'd also do some research online. And one name kept popping up. You guys have probably heard about it, uh, the Meatball Shop in New York City. Uh, they have a few locations, Manhattan and Brooklyn, just to name a couple. So they're listed as some of the best meatballs in the country by Food & Wine Magazine, uh, along with a lot of other accolades over the years. Luckily for me, I got an old copy of their cookbook. If you haven't checked it out, pick it up. I'm gonna use their classic recipe as my starting point and I'm gonna tweak it up a little bit. Unfortunately, I've never tried them myself. I've never gone to the restaurant. So I figured this would be a great excuse to take a road trip with you guys. All right, guys. So went to the meatball shop, I got the balls, uh, I'll plate them up for you, give me a nice little All right, dude, I think we got all we need. Let's make this happen. Let's go make some meatballs. Ha. So we're gonna make our tomato sauce. Uh, this is my version, a little Greek marinara. Really the only thing that makes it Greek is I add a cinnamon stick in there. Uh, you can follow this without the cinnamon, uh, you make it more, a little more traditional. Uh, but you wanna sweat the onions down in some olive oil, a little salt and pepper, and then we're gonna add our garlic in, just enough to get that aroma released. Uh, you don't want any brown garlic in here. And then we throw in our tomato sauce, and our cinnamon stick. And we just let that cook for a couple hours. If you want it spicy, throw in a little red chili flake, uh, but I'm putting them in my meatballs today, so I'm gonna leave the sauce the way it is. I'm sure you could probably find their recipe online, but if not, like I said, check out their cookbook. It's pretty dope, actually. Uh, they've been around for a long time, and I'm sure they're gonna be around for a while to come. So give them a shot, pick up their cookbook, check out the restaurant, please support restaurants. All right, so this is what I'm gonna go with. One and a half pounds of ground chuck, a half pound of ground pork, 
two slices of day old white bread, a half a cup of milk, a half a cup of ricotta, two eggs, half a white onion grated, it's about a cup, quarter of a cup of chopped parsley, half a teaspoon of ground fennel seeds, two teaspoons of salt, a pinch of dried Greek oregano, a pinch of ground chili flakes, and, a, and about a quarter of a cup of Parmigiano Reggiano. So I grab a big bowl, I got my meat in here, All right, so our mixture is ready. Uh, we're gonna put this in the fridge. Let it. We want to let it relax for about an hour. Okay, so after about a half an hour, uh, 45 minutes in the fridge, uh, you can feel it. It's it's come together a little better. Um, so we're gonna grab a baking sheet, line it with a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna start forming our meatballs. Yeah, that, that mixture feels really good. Throw some fresh basil up in there. Stir that in. Oh man, that basil smells so good. And then we're gonna put our meatballs in there. What we're doing, we're not cooking the meatball in here. Uh, we're just coating it nice, right? I guess traditionally you, you would cook the meatball in here uh, or finish cooking the meatball in here. But I think this way, I think you're getting the best of both worlds. I think we got the veal stock in there for the flavor. We got the meat flavor in the sauce, but uh, we're leaving that fresh uh, meat, all those fresh meat juices inside the ball. All right, guys, we're ready to go. You ready to taste these bad boys? I know I am. Even though, <laughs> even though I've been eating meatballs for the past two weeks, I'm excited. Let's do this.
Dude, these things smell unbelievable. I'm getting the fennel on the back. But then we put the perfect amount in. The garlic is coming through, which was missing from the original. I think this is phenomenal, guys. You got to try this out. I'm going to enjoy my meatballs. If you like what you watched today, please help out the channel. Subscribe, like, give us a thumbs up. We got new episodes every week. Follow us on social media, chefhd.tv, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Spread it everywhere. Thank you again. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.